Welcome back to Utep Dynasty. This episode we will be doing a double header because, you know, I've been uh, slacking on this and we need to get it done before I get Madden 24 up and running. So, let's get it done because today we'll be playing in Iowa State. Right, here we go. Ames, Iowa. Let's get this win, you guys. We need to uh, keep the streak going and prove that we are the best team in the Big 12. And Vincent closes the space and forces an incomplete pass. Oh, I had a boy, Clay. <laughs> Over three on three straight passes, fourth and ten, maybe. Sean Hill's first carry after being angry about last week and not getting over 100 yards for the first time in who knows how long. Starts it off with a big game. Sean Hill is a man possessed. He is running angry. Over the top to Hayford into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah. Vincent's gonna tackle him in the backfield. Showing off our stealth. Another option play where Browning just lays them out. What a throw to Hill again. We are running on all cylinders again. Now it's a Hayford and in the end zone as the quarter ends, we are going to be up 14 to nothing. And at the end of the first quarter, we are dominating Iowa State as they have not gained one yard today. And we are up 14 to nothing. Oh, McDonald, why are you running like that? Man, that's a pick six all day, every day. Ryan Jones gets the sack barely, but he does. It was second and 21, but it doesn't matter because Daniel Hill has stepped up to be one of our best receivers this year. Let's get it out there. Oh my gosh. What an interception. <coughs> Unfortunately for us. What the heck? <laughs> what? What is going on? <laughs> how did that? How did that even happen, dude? Oh, there goes Romero. There goes Romero. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was insane. We're going to take it all the way back for the longest kick return in NCAA history. Oh my goodness, Romero went down straight in the middle and absolutely, I, I don't even know what to say. That That's, I did not see that coming, but hey, I'll take it. And oh, Clay missed. Vincent missed. And right before half, they're gonna get into field goal range. Right. Throw it short. They get out of bounds with three seconds left. It's fourth and five. They have to go for the field goal here. Kick is up, and it is good to end the half. And at halftime, UTEP is up 21 to 13. Let's finish it. Oh, Sean Hill's just bouncing off of people. Third and one, and we can't get there, but it's fourth and one, and we've got to go for it. Whip it out to Sean Hill, and he's not going to get it. And we get back there and sack him this time. Right. Okay, come on, guys. And at the end of the fourth quarter, or at the end of the third quarter, we are up 21-13, but they are driving. Yeah, there we go. One more stop. Fourth and goal defense. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, so close. Come on, defense. And they get it. And it's going to be tied with 430 left. Get out to Daniel Hill, who picks up the first down, breaks off a tackle, and still going. 
Here we go. Adam or Hayford is right there to get it on the first down. Ooh, that was that was close. Francis is gonna keep good blocks, get him the first down. And we are in position right now. Good position. There goes Sean Hill into the end zone. And we take the lead with a minute 18 left. Our defense needs to step up here. And Jones is going to start it off with a sack. Three sacks on the day. Oh, we almost get home with a sack, but Vincent's going to stop him. He only gets three. Third and 15 with under a minute left. And it's incomplete. It's going to be fourth and 15. They have to go. They have to go for it. Keep them all in front of them. What was that? Did they run a draw on fourth and 15? With the game on the line? And Sean Hill takes it for a big game. I don't know if you saw that guy teleport, but I'll show it to you right now. And Sean Hill gets into the end zone and run up the score. Feel a lot better now. We definitely won this game. With that, we do get the victory, 35-21. That was a close game. That was a fun game. But uh, we got to get into our next game. Here comes the next game, the doubleheader. Second game of the doubleheader, our biggest rival in this UTEP dynasty, Texas A&M, number 25, coming into the Sun Bowl on our Orange Effect game where we need to uh, impress the recruits that we have. So let's get into it. All right, here we go in the Sun Bowl. We need to keep our streak going. God, I love it. We are absolutely dominating. Everybody knows we're gonna run the ball and they're all over on the first game or on the first play. With a dot to Daniel Hill. Another dot to Hayford with a diving catch. Safeties are sneaking up. Get it back to Hayford wide open for the touchdown. Let's do it. Let's just dominate this entire game. You gotta beat Texas A&M. And Sean Hill has his first big run of the day for a touchdown to take a 13 to nothing lead. Let's keep doing it. Browning gets back there. He got chip blocked, but that did not stop him. What a route by Hill. He makes a man miss and we're just taking it. We're just running it and throwing it down their throat. And at the end of the first quarter, your USA Miners are up 14 to nothing. Sean Hill takes it, breaks off tackles, and keeps going. He wants that 100-yard game. It's been a while. Give it to Sean Hill on the outside, and his speed will take him into the end zone, where we'll take a 21 to nothing lead. Run it again, and he gets tripped up. I believe I can't even. It's Fred Jones. Up, oh, Sean Hill. Ooh. Okay. Sean Hill takes what could have been a loss and got 10 yards. Oh, we just got absolutely demolished. Here we go. Let's get it to Hayford. What a grab for Hayford. We're just amazing. We're such a good team. And yep, saw that one coming. I had to hurry up and throw because we we're about to get sacked. And that's okay. We're still up 21 and And McDonald just got ran over. And at halftime, we are up 21 and nothing. Let's blow him out of the water. Oh, wow. Oh, and he fumbled it. And we pick it up. Love it. Play action. See if he can outrun him. He can't, but he breaks off the tackle. And another tackle. And we get a first down. This is a touchdown. Easily. Touchdown. UTEP 28 to 9. Oh, what a dive by Romero to stop that. At the end of the third quarter, we are up 28 to nothing. Let's get it. And we're going to get the sack. Sacked him for seven yards. Second and 17. Oh, Clay. That's a pick six, man. Come on. 
There we go. There we go, Sean. There we go, Sean Hill. We're almost at 100 yards for you, brother. Sean Hill is over 100 yards. Finally. Oh. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. With that, we get the victory where we will end this doubleheader with another win. Six in a row. And we beat a rival team. Not only did we beat them, but we destroyed them. So, yeah, I think this season is going pretty good. And that's going to do it for this episode of the doubleheader where we are now 7-0. and And we're going to be playing Baylor next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.